a little bit hectic getting ready for Pebble Beach. So many projects going on right now that you can't hardly move an elbow without bumping into somebody or something. But for Pebble, you get all the jewels, the one-off models, uh, vintage race cars, of course, uh, pre-war cars. And um, this is just as amazing as it gets for us. I mean, we're privileged, actually, that we can live this as a profession. As far as car history goes, we, we go quite a ways back, all the way to basically the beginning. Every car here tells their own personal story and uh, play a critical part, not only in the history of Mercedes-Benz, but in history in general. And I think we're responsible for uh, carry on that story. So it is a journey, you know, especially on a full restoration where you have a, a rusted hulk of a car come in and you produce something absolutely beautiful out of it. And you have to kind of remember that, where, where it started from, where it came from. They all have different expertise that come from different walks of life, uh, but with a common love of the car. I see the history as I'm working on the vehicle, who's been there, what's been done to it. So as I open her up, it's kind of like uh, opening a Christmas present. You see what's inside. Most of us that work on them, we're getting older, and so I, we have a certain resistance to all the new stuff. We can, we kind of like the older stuff better. Just absolute um, amazement at the technology and pride, pride in the product, you know, and pride in keeping things going. It's checking all the tolerances and making sure it's exactly the way it was, and that it that it meets the standards of Mercedes 50 years after it was made. That's that's really the challenging part. For us, restoration is, in fact, uh, the ability to present a car that does not look restored at all, looks completely authentic, original. So uh, perfection for us is perfection in detail, perfection in authenticity, perfection in uh, execution of the job. We all have that pride of, of working here, because there's only a few of us. There's a very few, select few people that get to do this, so um, we enjoy it every day. It's not really work at all. It's more like playing. It's kind of doing a hobby all the time. It's really nice. I dedicate and give 110% of everything I have. A piece of my life I put into every car. It's exciting to see them come back together and then see them actually run and drive for the first time is always exciting. It's a fulfillment. As soon as I could walk I started hanging out at the gas station. By 13 I had my own shop. I started working on cars with my grandfather when I was about eight years old first job that turned into my career was working on Mercedes-Benz, so it's been with me since I was, you know, a little kid. Yeah, I mean, you grow up with it, and it's part of my history, and I'm happy to be part of the history of Mercedes-Benz here, so that's pretty cool. If we've done our job right, um, no one should be able to tell we were even there, so it's sort of like somebody restoring, a, you know, a famous work of art. We're not there to leave our own mark. We're here to make it look exactly like the people that came before us made it. 